Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokes View Channel. I'm the Good Hurler Assistant. Here I'm having fun with this, uh, you know, flamenco tuning. Where you uh, make the low E a D, and you make the G string an F sharp. And I, this is not so much of a performance, it's just sharing different ideas you can do in this tuning. Um, I may do a GoFundMe page, because I'd really like to do a, a CD of all nylon string. It's something I've always wanted to do, so I might, I might be starting a GoFundMe page. If you, you could uh, support me on that, that'd be awesome. I'd really like to do another CD um, of all nylon string. And, uh, and maybe, you know, put uh, the guitar ladder into some CDs as well. But yeah, let me talk a little bit about, about kind of phrase memory and exercises to develop dexterity and technique. This is a, if you can make up a melodic exercise that also builds technique, especially right hand technique, because that's an area that's weak with most players, that's a good thing. And I've shown this before, but I'm gonna show it again because I think it's really substantial. And then uh, you can do that uh, in different areas, you know, kind of repeat the pattern. But then what happens when you work on something enough is you get it kind of burned into your subconscious and then you can kind of access that at times. And, uh, let's see here. That's a hard leg. I, I'm probably not completely warmed up. And you can double up. And then I like to kind of, you, you know, incorporate different uh, like styles from classical composers. Like maybe if you're thinking Bach, you might think something like. Uh, and then I kind of think Eric Johnson. thinking Eric Johnson as much as I'm thinking being melodic not just playing riffs that are all just a scale or all just you know a pentatonic color or whatever that's why it's nice to, to try to be more intervallic like when I'm improvising I'm always looking for And interesting how, the, you know, when you really start digging in a little bit, the guitar will really, uh, really ring out. Isn't it amazing? And this scale here is nice to use. I don't like labeling a lick every time I play it, but I'm sharing that just to help people kind of find somewhere to get a little traction um, 
most of these ideas have been used before, but you know, Eric Johnson was one of the first guitar players to, and still is one of the most innovative guitar players who spent the time to learn enough to develop his own harmonic point of view. But I love the way he uses extended triads, so that's why I use him as an example. I don't know of any other guitar players that have used them as much. I mean, since he's done it, other players have jumped on board and done it more. <laughs> string and F sharp. Even simple things like this sound nice. Simple patterns. get a Latin thing with these interval things. Things like that. Yeah, this is a fun, a fun tuning and uh, you can get chords like this. and he liked it. slopping around so anyway enjoy this you can also use the flamenco techniques with this tune Thank you. 
stop and this is going to take forever to upload but yeah mess with this tuning it's really cool you make the low e a d you make the g f sharp and it gives you some nice uh, scale and that's a hard chord for me. 